Okay, so finding the truth value of a compound statement. So these are the guides in finding the truth value of a compound statement. These are the different connectors. So for conjunction, if there is false, then the truth value is false. For disjunction, if there is true, then the truth value is true. For implication, if true implies false, then the truth value is false. And for by implication, if the same values, then the truth value is true. So again, these are the guides in finding the truth value of the different connectors. So we have this given, 8 is odd number and 5 is odd number. So first we need to get the truth value for every uh, statement. So we have the statement 8 is odd number since this one is false because 8 is not an odd number and this 5 is odd number, this one is true. And the connector, that's conjunction. So for conjunction, if there is false, then the truth value is false. Now, since there is false, so therefore, the truth value of this compound statement is false. Then, if this is the given, so if 8 is odd number, this one is false. Then 5 is odd number, this one is true. And the connector, if 10, that's implication, then for implication, only true implies false is false. And this one is false implies true. So therefore, the truth value of this compound statement is true. Then for this given, so we let P5 is a prime number, Q0 is a natural number, and R3 squared gives 6. So first, we need to identify the truth value for every variable before finding the truth value of this given equation. So 5 is a prime number. This one is true because 5 is a prime number. 0 is a natural number. Now since natural numbers are all counting numbers, so natural numbers starts with 1. So 0 is not a natural number. Then this 3 squared is 9, so therefore this one is false. Then substitute this truth value for every variable. So for P, that's true. For Q, it's false. And for R, that's false. So for this uh, not P, that's not true. Then implies uh, Q, that's false. And P, that's true. Then for this uh, not true, that one is false. Then for this conjunction... If there is false, then the truth value is false. Therefore, this one is false. And for this implication, so only true implies false is false. But since this one is false implies false, so therefore, this one is true. So the truth value of this equation is true. Then for the second example, so the same process, substitute the truth value for every equation so for a P that's true implies R that's not false, then R is false, then Q that's false, so that's uh, not false. Then not false, that's true, and this not false, that one is true. Then for implication, only TF is false, since this one is true implies true, so therefore this one is true. And this uh, disjunction, if there is true, then the truth value is true. Since there is true, so therefore this one is true. And this not true, that's false. Then for this by implication, if the same values, then the truth value is true. Since this one is different, so therefore the truth value for this equation is false.